Hi everyone, this is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. I wanted to share some of the embellishments that I've created to go into my trolley. Uh, I said before I was doing making um, happy mail and birthday mail for some of my friends and um, and some of my crafty ladies. So um, some of them I know more personally and some of them I don't. But I have two that we share a birthday mo uh, month and I've been working on, on birthday mail. Although I am waiting for some things to come in, um, I did create a little bit more. So I want to share that with you, with y'all. Uh, one of my crafty friends um, likes rosettes. So I created some, let me take them out of here so they won't have too much of a glare. I actually need to put them in a, a, a wider acetate sheet. But I created these rosettes and I did add, um, I think there's like six layers of the crepe paper on these. And this first one I kind of fluffed it up, but afterwards when I did the second one I felt that it wasn't necessary. Although my friend could fluff it up if she wanted to, uh, I, I used some uh, like an antique gold crepe paper and uh, I did add a piece of pink tool and you can't tell that it's pink uh, because it's a very pale pink but it did have specks of gold on there so that's why I wanted to combine the pink and the gold together and I love the way these came out. Uh, also in the center if you notice it's made out of crepe paper. And the, the way I did that was after I stitched, these are all hand stitched uh, rosettes. If you want to get a, you know, a, a rosette that's pretty close to perfect, uh, stitching it is the way to go. But you do have to be careful when you're tightening, cinching it up and tight to make the knot because you can pop the thread, which I did on, on one of them anyway. And then I added a piece of the tool on top. And then I glued with a very little bit of glue, or maybe even a spray glue, a little strip of the crepe paper on just a car piece of cardstock, and I punched out the circles. And so it looks like the it's punched out of crepe paper, but it's actually the crepe paper is glued onto uh, regular cardstock. And after I did that, uh, then I went ahead and trimmed off the the um, what do you call it? the um the tool to make it a circle but that's the way i created these and then let me take these so my the uh, colors i'm staying with are pink and gold and those are the colors that i'm trying to work with to coordinate with the box and then here are my pink ones again uh, these i didn't do the crepe paper on the center because i had a piece of cardstock that uh, matched pretty well uh, but I'm thinking I do like the way the crepe paper circle looks. Anyway, I did the same thing. I hand stitched it. It's six layers. Then I added the tool. And add, the last thing I add is the little dot on top. Uh, the little punch out. And to adhere these or to package them, I actually just use double sided tape. But I do kind of, after I put the piece of tape on the acetate, I do kind of dab my finger on it. Uh, so it won't be real sticky that they'll be able to take it off without damaging the um, the embellishment. So I created those and then I wanted to make some uh, smaller ones. So I created these. Let me take them out of the package. See if I can get them out. I put them in one of these little tight, tight bags. And I probably shouldn't have, but I did. Give me one second, it's coming. And I probably need to put it in a uh, wider bag, in a, a wider and shorter bag, because that one's way too long. Uh, these again, I did the same thing. On these, I did not add the tool with the pink, because I wanted to add the iridescent um, glitter to the edges, to the perimeter of the of the rosette. Uh, so this, these are the smaller ones. As you can tell, there is a difference in the sizes. But I only made six because I'm not um, I'm not very disciplined as far as doing uh, the same thing over and over again. I do have a problem with that. Like I get bored really easy uh, creating the same thing over and over again. 
So that's a challenge for me. Uh, one of the other things that I created, or I, I didn't create anything. I just kind of printed it out and uh, cut them out for her and maybe added a little bit of shimmer here and there. But Carnation Craft came out with these butterflies. It's called On the Wing. And you get a big uh, dragonfly and a small one. And you get the bigger uh, butterfly and the layering pieces as well. And the little one. So you get the intricate cut and then the silhouette on, on all the, the dies. And this is pretty much uh, minimal for them. Because normally when you buy a die from them, most of their dies have two or three layering dies on top of the detail one. Uh, but th these are beautiful. The artwork is beautiful. I only printed out the ones that had a pink in them. And I'll share with you what they look like. And I'm, I'm not going to take them out of the acetate. I hope, I hope I don't blind you. But here are the dragonflies in a very, very pale pink. And I did add some um, um, stickles on the wings. Very little uh, gold it's really not stickles. I think it's probably the same thing. It's that glitter glue that dries translucent. To me, it's stickles. It's the same thing. Anyway, I had a gold one, so I used that. And as you can see, a very thin line of that gold uh, foil paper underneath the one dragonfly. So I wanted to give them an option if they didn't want the gold in there, just the one by itself. So there's uh, one. There, there's one of the sets and then here are the little teeny tiny ones uh, I can't see what you're seeing so I hope there's not a lot of glare and then this one I added some um, it's by Martha Stewart and it's called what is it called Marcosite or something like that but it's a bunch of very uh, shiny iridescent uh, flakes like glitter chunky and a little bit more fine and it even has like the little um like little sticks or something in there of glitter but it's very fine so i added that one to the wings here and i did the glitter the the glitter glue on this one so i made her a set of those and then i made a set of the little butterflies i'm sorry guys if there's a lot of glare so I did the one with the gold stickles, then I did the one with the marcasite uh, flakes. And let me grab those because I want to share with you what they look like. They're very, very pretty. Give me one sec. I thought I was ready and you know how that goes. I think we're ready and when it comes right down to it, we're not. No, it's not called marcasite, my friends. It's called coonsite. <laughs> Uh, this I picked up at Michael's, I believe, and I do have a silver one, and it's called Kunzite, and it is beautiful. I don't think that uh, probably the uh, the recording will do it any justice when you see them in person. It's very, very pretty. See how beautiful that is? So you have chunky and then very fine glitter mixed in together, and they kind of look like little hexagons in there as well. But that's what I used, and a little bit goes a long way. And I was very surprised because there's my hand, so it's a pretty good size container. So that's the the um, the glittery ones right here, the bigger chunky glitter. On these, let me take this one out. On this one, and these designs, guys, by uh, uh, Carnation Crafts are designed that if you want to print out let's say I was using a butterfly on a acetate window that you could see the front and the back well they do have their designs where you can fold score your paper down the center line that's on the designer paper on the printed paper and when you line up your dies the the back and the front line up and you can cut them where you have the image it's double-sided so that I really like the fact that they do that now this butterfly again has the gold stickles very little I didn't do a whole lot to these and I did add the uh, a gold I added the gold foil on the bottom of these but I did use the detail die to do that and then on this one here is that chunky uh, kunzite glitter plus the gold and it does have 
uh, the printed layer. Look at how pretty that looks underneath. So that's how pretty it looks on, just on plain paper. I think it looks prettier on the uh, card stock than it does on vellum. So there it is printed out. Then I printed it out on vellum and die cut them with the dies and added the uh, sparkle to it. And I love, love, love the way these came out. Now I'm going to share the other ones that I did too. I kind of just stuck them in a drawer uh, for my Happy Mail. But I'll share with you what I did to these. So I was just kind of trying different things and to see what I like the best. On this butterfly, I did add uh, some little bling, those diamond dots for diamond painting on the corners of the wings and on the tail of the wing or the bottom wings. I added the kunzai um, glitter and then I cut out the silhouette instead of the detail and I ran it through an embossing folder. So it's got script on there. So I love, love, love the way this one came out too. But I've been cutting extras and just putting all everything that I'm working with when I make extras in a drawer. That way, uh, when I have my other um, train cases done, part of my work is already going to be done because while I'm creating for the, the, the one I'm working on now, I am making extras. So I have them put away in, in a, one of my clear uh, drawers because it's not going to be permanent. All that's going to go out. So those are the uh, the dragonflies and butterflies that I created. And then I had some uh, dies by Crafter's Companion. And I had picked these up at Tuesday morning. If I can find any of this stuff, guys, I will link it in the description box. I know Carnation Craft still has the butterfly because this is a recent purchase or I just received this. But these, I cut them out of foam board, the Dollar Tree foam board. Then I cut them out of a very pale pink 110 pound cardstock from Michaels. The one that comes with the blush colors in there, in the package. It's got like a very pale pink, a blush, and you know, it's got different shades, but uh, they all coordinate. And uh, so I cut the silhouette in the, the foam board and in the pale pink, and then the words in the gold foil. And these are the ones that I use. I didn't use Smile, but I did use Dream, Enjoy, and um, Blessed. I really wanted one that said would say Create or something like that, but I really didn't. I didn't have any. Uh, but these are the ones that I felt uh, would go good with the Happy Mail I was making. Um, not sure if these are still available because I did pick them up last year or a year and a half ago at Tuesday morning. But that's what those look like. So I just created some of those for them, for the Happy Mail. And then I created some uh, bag toppers. And the bag topper that I use is by Avery, uh, Avriel. The, is this Avriel? Yep. Yeah, the pocket. I mean the the back topper die that has the stitching and the rick rack on the bottom. So I used that one, and then I used this bow that I picked up on uh, Amazon, and it's like a generic one because uh, this is how it came, just in a plastic bag. So it has the very intricate uh, die, and then it has the silhouette to it, and it cuts it cut beautifully for me. I didn't have any problems with it. So I'll share with you what the bag topper uh, looks like. And I did too. So the bag toppers that I created are these right here. And uh, there is the bow right here. Then the silhouette and then the filigree, the intricate piece. And then I had these beautiful hearts that I think somebody gifted them to me in uh, Happy Mail or something. I don't recall buying them, but they're so very pretty. And I added one to the center where the heart was. Here's my With Love die that I used on top of the uh, the train case because the name of the collection is With Love. And then these uh, little bouquet of uh, flowers are from Carnation Craft. And I don't have that die yet. I'm still waiting on it. I did order it. Um, 
but I'll share with you what those die cuts look like. So this is one of the ones and I did emboss the back, uh, the bag topper. And then here is the second one. And I did add a little piece of very narrow cream colored lace at the bottom. And again, the same thing. And here are the flowers. And I just used three, like a, like an open bloom rose, then a bud, and then just a little uh, piece of greenery back here. And for these, I did include the uh, cello bags for these, but I also wanted to give them an option. So I had these bags in my stash and I've had them for a while and never used them. And I think that these would be beautiful on the, on the bags. So I'm gonna give them both, that way they have uh, an option on whether which ones they wanna use. But I'm going to move these so I can share with you the flowers. And I, um, the reason I have them is because my friend Jackie had blessed me with a bunch of die cuts. And that collection was one of the ones that she cut out for me. And I don't know how she has all that patience. But those, and I'm not going to take them out of the pocket. But those are all these little bundles that I did share in some Happy Mail, um, in a Happy Mail video that Jackie had sent me. But here are the roses, and the designs come in four or five, I think it's about five colors. And then sometimes they'll even remaster them and do some other colors that are not in the originals. Uh, but so far right now, I think they only have the, ori the originals. But every design that they have, they do it in five or six colors. So Jackie gifted me all these little bundles, so I have plenty to play with. Whether I'm making an envelope, and I did make an envelope with little flowers and everything, but I don't know what I did with it, guys, uh, because I was creating embellishments. But it'll, it'll turn up. I put it away, and sometimes I put away things really, really well, and I can't find them. I know that this die collection right now is not available. It's sold out, but I'm sure they'll bring it back because it's it's a beautiful one, and I'm sure uh, people are going to continue to buy that. So I'm just going to link the Carnation Craft website, and you guys can look through their through their stuff. So those are. Those are the uh, the embellishments that I have uh, so far for the train case that uh, were new and I hadn't shared with you all. I hope that everyone is having a great day and I hope that this gives you ideas if you're working on happy mail or birthday mail or just because you want to make embellishments uh, to, you know, build up your stash. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a great day and God bless. Bye.